What's up, YouTube? It's Brendan from Market Makers, your home for Wyckoff and Advanced 5 Pattern TA. Guys, we're going to jump right into the Bitcoin price action, but two quick announcements. The first one's huge. 1 million views. We passed 1 million views yesterday on YouTube, which is absolutely mental. It's all thanks to you guys. We started, as I said, last June with 12 subs. So in seven months time, we got a million views. Really appreciate your support. I am not a natural presenter, as you may notice. So this has been something that's been a journey for me as well. So please do remember to smash the like button, click the subscribe button, and definitely tick that little bell so you get our new videos. Because this morning I released a Super Bubble video on the stock markets. You guys may get some education and entertainment value from that video as well, so please check that out. Second quick announcement, BitGet has fully incorporated USDC into their platform. Previously, you could trade with it, but now you can exchange. You can exchange USDT for USDC, and if you're like me and many other people, you may feel more comfortable in USDC backed by the US dollar. So that is available on BitGet. Guys, I don't monetize my channel. BitGet sponsors us. If you use our link in the video description, you get some extra cash from BitGet. You will be enrolled in future tournaments. We just completed a tournament last month. Four people won $500. So that was absolutely awesome for them. Check them out. They are a fantastic exchange, top five by volume. I was approached by three other exchanges that are that are the top three. <laughs> top three, you would know who they are. But I tried out their platforms. I didn't like them. I actually trade on BitGet. Most of the 7,000 people in our room use BitGet as one of their main exchanges. You guys should check them out. What sets them apart is no VPN, no KYC. You're not going to have your IP blocked. You're not going to have to show your driver's license or passport. You can register with just an email. You can verify if you wish, but you are not required to on BitGet. So definitely check them out. All right, guys, let's jump into the TA. How much fun is TA when you are doing this and prices respecting the FIBS and Wyckoff price method? Because we nailed the support structure, right? Nailed the support structure for the 618 and, of course, I gave you guys these predictions. We called this potential pump, what, days ago, based on the volatility compression pattern before the pump happened. And we're going to review that as well. But let's look at this. We passed the one fib. I told you 43,727 is what we need to get above. We need to hold it. We're going to look into smaller time frames. But do notice, this is the first time since the all-time high on the weekly time frame. You have three up candles. Heck, it's the first time you've had two up candles in the weekly time frame since the all-time high. So this is bullish. But we do know there's a lot of resistance above us. We talk about it every video. So we have to hold the 43,727. And then your next target, if you can defeat this middling resistance in between here, is the 1618. And you will see 50K Bitcoin if that happens. Let's jump forward. Let's go to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, I showed you guys this yesterday. We have our 89, our 233, and our 144 all above us. Again, the volume profile indicator, VPVR. You can download this in TradingView. It shows you your candles for the can it shows you candles for volume for the candles that you pull in range. For this current trend, this is what I'm measuring going back to December 4th. Okay, so it's a good size measurement. This is the peak volume resistance and is married just above your moving averages. Remember, these descend as price stays down there. So we know this is going to be an area of peak resistance at 47,260. And of course, we always have this pattern that I showed you guys. We Let's go from our X to our A, to our B, down to our C, up to our D. Now this pattern, this is a white swan. This pattern can be active anywhere from the 238. I'm choosing to put it at the point of control, the point of confluence, I call it, because of the resistance area. But realistically, you can be active anywhere here. But this does go to the 886. And the 886, if you're able to flip these moving averages, flip this volume as resistance and utilize it as support, the 886 of this pattern gets you right up to that, look at that, the 1618. And again, if Bitcoin's super bullish, the pattern doesn't mean anything. It's all market sentiment. It's all buying and selling, okay? But the way these patterns work, like I said, price moves X to A to B to C up to D. If it gets to D, at whatever level, whether it's down here at the point of confluence or here at the max extension, this is where you're expected to see some 
price retracement potentially if the market shifts gears trend reversal and that's a counter trend trade we trade this way in the room if you're interested in learning how to trade counter trend patterns Fibonacci patterns definitely check out the link in the video description to our discord let's go ahead and fast forward let's look at the Wyckoff because we've been tracking so beautifully in Wyckoff which is how I was able to predict that pump let me zoom this in a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better Make this a little bit bigger, bring that up. Let's block off our Wyckoff. So we had our selling climax candle. We had our automatic reaction. We did not get a secondary test. Price just elevated and took off. Remember Wyckoff on the daily is where I like to track it, but if you do this on a four hour or one hour, it's gonna look totally different with the amounts of candles. You can be further along advancing in steps on a smaller time frame. Daily is a great way to track it though. We exited our trading range. So right, what we have right now is a sign of strength, okay? And you can come up higher. We've done this before. We could begin to roll over and look for a lower high. Remember our lower high concept? We could be looking for a lower high here to reaccumulate and hopefully get another sign of strength in the marketplace to move up higher. Lots of different things we can do, but the difference is Nowadays, the way we trade, the way I trade Wyckoff, more advanced way to trade with Wyckoff is to utilize your FIB, um, your FIB pattern techniques and your Fibonacci resistance and projections. So looking at the one FIB, 43.727, you can see we got just above it. So we're trying to hold it as support. And of course that 1618 would be up here at 50K. And we gotta defeat that resistance in between. Let's look at the four hour time frame so we can see our indicators a little bit better, a little bit more current time frame. And let me pull this up. FIB's laid out the exact same way as you guys can see. We are above the 233 in the four hour, which was a crucial step, as I said, in our video series prior to achieving that. So let's look at our indicators. ATR slightly elevated. I would anticipate before we have another move, just like every single time, see how ATR flatlines, pumps up. Flatlines, dumps right there. It does it over and over again. Of course, it could recoil from anywhere in trend, but it tends to come down at rest. Nice big bullish volume candles. And of course we had the nice volume momentum and our EMAs or our phase angle for our EMAs here. They actually didn't come up that much. So this move didn't take too much effort to get up here. So that's interesting to see. And let's look at some other indicators. Let's see how spread out Ichi is. We are above the moving averages in the four hour time frame, forming a nice green, green cloud. So this, for all intents and purposes, I mean, I am tongue tied this morning. For all intents and purposes, this is a bullish scenario. Let's see if the caterpillar is starting to contract or if it's still blown out. Yeah, it's still expanded. I mean, we got, that was nice and tight right there on the four hour time frame before we got that explosion. So, you know, we're making progress up. Even though we expanded it here, we still made more progress up. But this is a key FIB level, okay? You're at the 100% retracement of the move, okay? So for that projection, we've retraced 100%. So this is a key FIB level right here. So this is something that we may end up consolidating on and looking at that candle, um, how it's becoming a doji. We may be sitting here for a little bit and we need to make sure we don't lose strength and fall back down, okay? So let's look at our Alma. This should be green. Yep, this is our no moving average. So you can see nice green bullish trend here. So this is all well and good. And again, this ties in close with the stock markets. The stock markets have been back and forth this morning when I was watching them, uh, up slightly. Earnings are coming out, they're vacillating back and forth, but crypto's making some steps. So this is really good to see. Let me go ahead and turn that off. And let's see what else do we have here. Let's look at let me look at my trend channel. We're right at the median line of the trend channel. So that'd be nice if we can flip that as well. But like I said, we may end up consolidating in this range. And let me look at one more thing, guys. One more thing. Uh, let's look at actually two more things, two other volatility indicators. So our VAMA is still green beneath this. This is really excellent to have your volatility beneath you. As you can see, when it's above you, it's resistance. It's like a wet blanket, okay? This gives you the ability to make explosions, those explosions that you can track with the ATR and with the Caterpillar, which is the RSVVB by DW. So let's turn that back off and let's look at our Kaufman moving averages. 
So we're making a lot of progress here. Look at all this red we got through. So basically, oh, if we can hold up here, we are above the Kaufman. So once again, just like before, if Bitcoin can hold, just like I told you, when I told you down here, we're going to pump to the 233. If we break it and hold it, we can move up. We broke the 233. We held it. We consolidate it. You can see here on the candles. And then we moved up. Now we need to do the same thing again. Baby steps. We need to hold 43,727. We can consolidate, move up with the sign of strength. I'll be tracking my ATR and other metrics here to see when that volatility is at rest and looking to explode. You guys can do that as home as well. All right, guys, another video coming tomorrow. Definitely check out my super bubble video if that interests you. I uh, had a lot of fun making that video. I'll be making more. All right, guys, take care. Happy trading.